Rosa Taiidis RNJP Sargasa, a third year electrical engineering student from Iloilo Science and Technology University, Section A. We are back again with another video to demonstrate to you how to create a simple scroll up and scroll down that will display formatted text on the 16x2 LCD screen programmer Arduino. So let's go! So here are the guidelines making this project. So first is that we are going to create a simple physics or math problem that involves calculation with at least three variables. Let the given variables be represented by Greek letters, which will need to create custom characters for this to be displayed properly in your LCD display. So the number two is that we are going to add two touch switches and connect it to your microcontroller. These two touch switches shall be connected to pin 8 and pin 9. Next, the third is that these two touch switches shall be programmed to be used to scroll down and scroll up the text being displayed on your LCD screen. When the last line is displayed and the scroll down is pressed, the program must be able to go back and display the first line. However, if the first line is displayed and the scroll up is pressed, the program will not respond to this input. So number four is that the worded problem together with the complete solution must be able to be displayed on your LCD screen with the option to scroll up and scroll down using the tax switches. Each line in the problem must have a maximum of 16 characters only. Show your name in the second line. Then fifth is that create a demonstration video of your functioning program. Submit the link of your video uploaded in YouTube. Also submit the source code as Eno file. To making this project, we need a soldering iron, a wire stripper, a scissor, Next is our plier. Then these two tuck switches. Next is the switch. This is optional. Then our 16x2 LCD display. Next is male pin headers. Our breadboard. We have here the Arduino Uno R3 as our microcontroller. Next is the cable connected to our microcontroller to our laptop or computer. Next is resistors. Then we have a soldering lead. Then we have here our wire. AWG number 22 wire. Next is male to male cord or wire. And lastly, we have here a brass punch to clean our soldering iron while soldering. Then we need a soldering stand. Then next is that we are going to create our schematic diagram using Fritzing. So Fritzing can be downloaded on the internet. So first we need an Arduino Uno R3 board here. Then we have two tuck switches with a biasing resistor of 10k ohm. So as you can see, we have here these pricing resistors. So the buttons are designated on pin 8 and 9. Next we have here the LCD display. So on our VO side, we have 3000 ohm resistor. So each resistor has 1k ohm so i connect i connected it on series connection so next is this we designate the pins of our 
LCD. Then we have here the Twitter key on, which is connected on letter K. Next is we are going to solder R as in the display. So we will attach the pin headers on it and let's solder. So be careful while soldering. So next in line is we are going to solder our switch. So this is optional if we are going to put a switch or not. So switches in this project will make our LCD on and off. Next in line is that we are going to put all our components on the breadboard. So this is based on our schematic diagram. So we are using the liquid crystal library that we can download here in the library of the Arduino. After we designate the components on the breadboard, we are going to code our program. Next is that we are going to designate the RS, E, D4, D5, D6, D7 pins, which are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 respectively. And next is our page counter. So we have here 1 for plus 1 and minus 1. So for our pins we are using here, when text is up, we are scrolling down. Which is int up is equal to 8, then page down, scroll up button. Or which means next is that text down or the page down, scroll up button, which is int down equals 9. So here we are designating are symbols by number. So the symbols are 
up with the arrow up then arrow down then we have here the ampere voltage and the resistance so for our ampere we are using symbol pi for our voltage we are using the symbol psi and for our resistance we are using the gamma symbol so in repeat we are creating a repeat symbol the next in line is we are going to the void setup so let LCD display begin on 16 comma 2 then we have here the LCD create chart so designate all the pins from so up is 1 down is 2 ampere is 3 voltage is 4 resistance is 5 and repeat is 6 we are creating our debouncing function for our tax switch using boolean debounce and boolean current So set our delay to 5. The next line is that we are going to the void loop. So current current up and current down for the bouncing or for up button and down button. So for creating is involved. It's easier for you to use Max Proper that GitHub that IO LCD character creator. I will post the link on the description below for you to open it so for the scroll down we are creating this counter so we have 19 counters so, change counter plus one. So, so, but here for our else code, if we finish the page 19, it will go to page one of our LCD display. So, next in line is that we are going to scroll up. So, here we have here the page counters greater to one, and now we are the page counter minus one else page counter is equal to 1 so next is that we are going to create our cases so we have here the lcd print for the text and lcd write by for our symbols so for the lead cursor or where is the designated of this text on the lcd so continue it until I reach the case 19 or the last page of our program. So let's import our code, the Arduino microcontroller. So we use a battery source for our project. So in our project, we use this power bank as our source. So we are going to demonstrate to you our program. So we are going to well, scroll down. So we are going to use the scroll down button. As you can see that we have here the text, the symbols up and down, and Greek symbols. So for our final answer, we have here the symbol up and on the second 
line, we have here the repeat symbol. So, next is that we are using this scroll up button from page 19, we minus it by 1 until we reach the home page of our program. So, let's test next our repeat program. So here, as you can see, if we click this repeat button or the scroll down button, we are on the home page. And let's click the scroll up. We cannot return to the page 19. So that's it. Thank you.